Welcome to day two of the prelims going down here on center court at the NXL World Cup. I'm Matty Marshall alongside Rich Telford. And the bracket of death is about to be played right now. Infamous taking on Notorious, ML Kings, and the Ironmen. So in that Hurricanes, Infamous, Legion, Notorious, and Versed uh, C bracket, Rich, I think that's the bracket of death based on what we saw yesterday. Never really know until... Uh, these situations start to play themselves out here. Until the teams start dying. <laughs> yeah, right. But, you know, it's just interesting because uh, Verst beat Notorious, and they beat him pretty solidly, and then Notorious beats the number one seed, the Hurricanes, in the worst game that we've seen the Hurricanes probably play since they went pro. I uh, had a chance to talk to both Mike Bianca and Ryan Gray and about the situation yesterday with the upset victory for Notorious. And Notorious is the brand-new rookie team. Looking at Marky Franz here on your screen. And they played absolutely fabulous. Uh, against that Hurricanes squad and the Hurricanes Rich they look puzzled they had four penalties and you know talking to Mike Bianca today he's like you know how many penalties we got all year and I was like probably around four or five he's like three we got three penalties all year long and we got four penalties in one match very very frustrating it's uh, woke up baby <clears throat> so and then infamous yesterday they beat up on first real solidly uh, got a mercy rule win there. So, and with the way the cut is working here at World Cup, there's five, uh, four brackets of five teams, and the top two teams move on, heading into point number one. So, and both <laughs> of these teams are two, uh, one on one, right, Maddie? Yeah. So, if Notorious can can play as well as they did against the Hurricanes against Infamous, then this could be a really good match. So, yeah, yeah tough to call to be honest. Infamous yeah. did look outstanding yesterday. Must just... win situation for both of these teams. Like either one of these teams go down to one and two, it's yeah. be very hard for them to go forward. Yeah, Infamous lost to Legion, but they only lost by one, so they're sitting one and one with a plus five right now. Oh, Harris Hussain getting shot and getting a penalty out of back center. Oh, he's going about to get a talking to from Coach Ryan Gray, because he also got a penalty yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy, because he very rarely gets penalties. Yeah, he's, he's he knows he's about to get it in ear beating, as we say. Uh, so, but yeah, Infamous uh, lost a body early here on the snake side. I think that was Jamrose that took the walk. Yeah. Thomas Taylor, we're going to have, no, that's Ryan Hall. Ryan Hall played really well yesterday, uh, going kind of up the middle a bit. He would also filter over the snake side occasionally, but he's currently at the lay down door. He's got some support behind him. They, Infamous stalls a body in that back center. Infamous gets the D2, Matty. And then Tim Brusselback had some really good points for him. But yeah. th that's why I really, Rich, I really like, as you can see our uh, telestration with these bodies currently alive out there on the field. But yeah, with the with the package that uh, Infamous is bringing both on the D side and on the Snake side, they're getting a little scary because uh, Nate Trader's playing really yeah, well. Tim, Nate Trader's been picking up. To, uh, Sim Russell Sam Hack. Silberg had Silberg. one of the nastiest moves I've seen all year long, winning a one on four. And uh, and then, you know, they, so Nate Trader, Tim Russellback, and Silberg as the attackers on the D side. And then on the Snake side, they got Jamrose and Patient. Saw a little more Patient yesterday than Jamrose. Yeah, Hall. Yeah, and then Ryan Hall as well, too. That's my play. So, and then you combine in the Cody Minkowski and the Cali Rudolph, and the team's just looking, starting to look good. Two bodies coming off here for Notorious in the middle of the field. Yeah, Notorious down to just one player left alive on that D side corner, Matty. Infamous with four. Four on one advantage here for Infamous. Infamous is going to win this first point. And again, both these teams went one and one yesterday, so neither one of these teams can afford to lose this match if they want to win this event. The biggest event in the world. World Cup, baby. Yeah, so Ryan Hall and Callie Rudolph walking off. And they never, you know. Looking in, good. In the uh, first little practice tournament, whatever we called it, and in the beginning of yesterday, the snake was kind of important, right? Like guys were kind of flooding out here trying to get the snake. As the day went on yesterday, fewer and fewer people or points were just determined by the snake. It was really who won that breakout or who could get down the Dorito side or up the center of the field. Because yeah. the snake is just so hard to get out to. Yeah, I do like how this field is playing because there are options. The D side is pretty potent. There's a lot of uh, kills and angles in the middle of the field. And then, you know, obviously, you know, snake's always going to be important. Um, and we did see play, you know, plays and strategy go back and forth. Sometimes teams were pushing into the snake in certain sets, and sometimes they weren't. Other times it was the D side and then with the middle as well, too. And having a balanced field like that makes it pretty fun to play. So on the breakout right now, Ironman desperately need a win. Ironman, get the, Ironman and Snake insert getting the check. He definitely took a hard bounce because he's not shooting that gun. Five on five, Matty. Well, the Ironman went one and one yesterday. They had that one point victory against Joy Division, but uh, they got blown out by impact. So they're sitting at a, even though they're one and one, they have a, a negative six, or sorry, negative five, I believe. And so they definitely need a win. ML Kings would also like to get a victory as well, too. But they put up a big score against Joy Division yesterday. Yeah, I was talking to a couple of the Ironman guys, Nick Sloviak, this morning, and they have not beat the ML Kings all season long. So. If they had a time to beat him, this is the one to beat him. 
So Al Fernandez moving into the Landry Logistics Bunker as Hughes takes the walk for the Ironman. Yeah, he's going to need to tighten it up. Because they, need, they desperately need Hughes. Yep, Peterson taking a bite over there on the D side, getting to the D side tower. And then not sure who it is, maybe Navarro fills out to the uh, drill corner behind him. So five on three advantage now for the ML Kings as Nicola moves down to Dorito three for the Ironman. Kyle's got a good shot across the snake side of the field. ML Kings get out to the snake corner, Matty. Yeah, Al That's Fernandez it. trying to put a ball on him. He might have, though. Referee's going to come and check out his inside, uh, left side. Yeah, I believe that's Betancourt. Good yeah, shot he, going out there. So he did. Yeah, so he's forced to take the walk. Kyle Barrett's going to follow him up, go inside to the snake insert. Betancourt plays on Energy Elite. Sorry, I apologize. He used to play in the ML Kings. He did, yeah. I apologize. So uh, was that Donaldson? I couldn't see. I I, it, yeah, it was kind of in. It was in I just it, saw a small headband going out that way. It, it, well, Donaldson had been going that way. <clears throat> So Ironman down in the three on five have battled down to now a three on four, but they let Kyle Berry get into snake one. So Al Fernandez is going to have to get a kill here on Kyle Berry. Ooh, and, and he I gets it. Dude, two pack for, of kills for here for Al. So Al is controlling that zone nicely as he eats up both, I believe, Donaldson and definitely Kyle Berry. Yeah, I, he is not messing around. Al Fernandez is handling business in that land religious bunker. He finds the player in the center wing there over the top. Well, the Ironman started to move up into that 50 on the D side, but then goes up there, shoots a lane, does a backfill into uh, into D3 again. That's Kyle. Yeah, Kyle getting up to that D3 was, was crucial, and then even more crucial than that was Al getting the two kills for both of the King players that filled out Snake Side. And that's why teams are slowing down so much in the Snake Side, Matty, is those kills are coming from the center of the field, and you can't see that the guy's there until you're committed to your move. You know, you, when you leave, you don't think he's there. Halfway there, you look, and he's like, oh, yeah, there's a guy standing right there shooting this gap. Well, so the ML Kings, that player, who we have on our Telestrator. He's been going back and forth. So the angle right there is on Al, but he's actually zoned up on Kyle right now because he might have heard, hey, uh, they're at our 50 before Kyle dipped back to D3. And that's that's why it's beneficial to be proactive. For sure. You know, yeah, pressure. We talk about it all the time, right? Anytime you can put pressure on the other team, Ironman dropping a body there, that's a really bad death. I believe that's Keith DeWitt. <laughs> Uh, but anytime you can force the other guys to make a mistake and give you an opportunity or give you an advantage, you've got to take it. And that's done two on two now, Maddie. Did Al get that kill too? Al got that kill. That's three kills confirmed for Al. <laughs> Al is he nice shot it and killed it. Now he's making the move down the tape. Oh, oh the catch making it. I don't know why. I mean, he was just chopping people up from that spot. Oh, he, I think no, he, he lost Kyle. Kyle. Shot, yeah. yeah. So the desperation run there from Al, not much he could do in that situation, but he did hit some work over there. I'm going to be doing okay if Al can clock in like that every point. Yeah, but the problem is, and this is just kind of part of the problem for the Ironman, because they'll have individual guys that will go out and have a decent performance in a point, but then everyone dies around them, and it just keeps happening tournament after tournament. Sometimes it's Kyle or Chris or Clay or Al or Nick, whatever, it, but they just can't get it across the board to get that survivability up. We're in the pits right now here with uh, Coach Mike Paxson talking to uh, Chris Treegarthen. And again, the Ironman's sitting at one and one, but they had that big loss uh, to, the, to impact. So even though they have the win against Joy Division, it was a one point win. So sitting at one and one with a negative five, I believe, that's not gonna be good enough. Um, whereas you're looking at the ML Kings, they're also sitting at one and one. Do they have a plus five? So, cause they beat up on Joy Division. Let's see if Harris Hussein gets the spin after that penalty last point. No, shockingly, uh, Ryan decides to leave him in the pit. Five on five breakout here. Infamous and Austin, same positions, but Austin repositions faster to the Landry Logistics Bunker and the small snake brick. Infamous with all five bodies still inside the uh, pocket there. Two in the cans, one in the back center, one in the Landry Logistics Bunker. They are up by one point here in the beginning of this match on a beautiful, oh, looks like Zach Patient, or is that Jonah taking the walk? That's Zach. Zach taking the walk. Looks like Cal, uh, Thomas immediately fills in for him. Good read and react there from Thomas Taylor. Five on four advantage for Austin Notorious. Yeah, that's a good kill, man, because Patient's been a relentless attacker. Yeah, well, and it forces Thomas to fill that can, right? So if you can get that first kill, know that you got that kill and then adjust your line of paint in, you can, kick, you can also catch the back center guy, Thomas Taylor, filling out to that can and get two kills out of it. So they made the first kill, they just did not have their containment. ABJ now making that move from the snake brick into the uh, center wing there, Matt. He was mostly playing snake side yesterday, so it's a little bit different. Going into the uh, Dorito side wing now on the 50 yard line. He's gonna be looking snake side, trying to put some pressure on Joe Barrett there in the Landry Logistics Tower and Thomas Taylor in the uh, snake can. 
Yeah, really good uh, penetration in that middle and some real estate taken by Austin Notorious as they have uh, two crucial spots in that middle of the field. And Notorious is now out to that Dorito corner. Back center, snake side can, center 50 wing with two players. Back center is now moving to the Landry Logistics bunker. He's got a little bit of broken paint on his knee. This pink paint shows up so well. I can't wait until we change the uh, shell color to something bright that we can also see. Maybe like a white or metallic or you know some kind of shiny ball. But man, this pink is really a good adjustment. Yeah, it, it just, yeah, it, it's just visibility is kind of important when you're shooting thousands of paintballs every single point at each other. And if you can't pick up those streams as a viewer, it's kind of tough. So not yeah. As, not as interesting, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. I mean, these the, the, this pink paint is oh man, it's amazing. That, that first goggle shot that we saw yesterday, we were both like, oh, we got it right. The you base. can see it from a million miles away. I wanted us to all shoot lasers at each other, but Matt wouldn't let us. Well, it also, I mean, look at all the penalties we saw yesterday too. Yeah, I mean, well, I yeah. think you get guys playing with yeah, you know, yellow paint or whatever, just paint that's less visible for the refs. And we had a really penalty-ridden day yesterday because it's a little bit easier for the refs to see these hits. Yeah, players that are usually diving in the snake and kind of getting crawling it off or getting rid of it all, the referee sees that black paint go to pink real quick and is like, wait a minute, that yeah, was, so you, that was just pink. So you can see this battle going down here as we saw our eye in the sky on that snake side so no one in the snake and it's been hard to get out we're kind of calling the uh the the stock go-to strategy play uh the arrowhead just because if you look at it from above you get that center penetration because you can take some ground and stay safe but then guys really aren't risking it out wide much so yeah. you know when the field always slows down a bit on sunday and you're going to see a lot of teams go to that stock arrowhead yeah we just got to sunday so much sooner than usual i mean this was an early sunday for sure yeah, but both teams are in the pocket, shooting their guns. And Austin Choice has gotten out to Dorito too, so they are outside the pocket on the D side, but Infamous is still in their primary bunkers, still locking down their lanes, convinced that their gunfighting abilities, their communication and teamwork is going to be good enough to uh, make up for the field position advantage that Austin Notorious has here. The key to Infamous doing that is Joe Barrett right now, not letting anyone go out snake side for uh, San Antonio, I mean, Austin mm -hmm. Choice. Oh, Thomas Taylor gets out to the snake corner. That's a great move from Thomas. Big mistake there for uh, Notorious letting Thomas get out there. And he had two guns on him. He had the uh, Landry Logistics Bunker and the Snakes I Can, both on him. <coughs> oh, Ooh, Marky Franz is going to get his, yeah, gets his loader scalp yeah. if he tries to get up and out of that can to do something about Thomas Taylor getting out wide, thinking about getting out a little bit wide himself or up the field. And Joe it Barrett cost him his him. body. Yeah, Joe Barrett caught him there. Thomas Taylor seeing if he can crawl from that corner into Snake One, being creative himself. And unfortunately, he cannot. He gets shot by that Landry Logistics bunker. Oh. So three on four advantage here, Matty, I think, for Austin Notorious. Austin with three players on the 50. Joe Barrett refilling back from the uh, Landry Logistics bunker to the Snake Side Can. Infamous now with three players. Two, oh, two players now, back center and Snake Side Can. One player now, just the uh, Snake Side Can. So it's a four on one here. Infamous is about to lose this second point, so it's going to be a tie game, one to one. Austin and Torres are pretty good there, Matt. That's yeah. a good close for them. Rich, I agree. Uh, I, I like finally. The, I like the strategy. Yes, don't get used to it. Uh, I like the strategy of sending the bodies up to the middle, safe, right? Yeah. It, well, it's it's they're throwing them away on the snake side, right? Yeah, and, and look, if you make it into the snake, yeah, it's great. There, there's a lot. I mean, it's, a, it's the bunker set that runs almost the entire length of the field, but it has been a little bit of a treacherous spot to make it out alive. Uh, so it's a little bit safer. Now, we, again, we're going to see the strategy continue to change because if teams keep attacking up the center and keep putting focus there, then more guns will shift that way, and that will make it easier to make it out. Thomas made a nice fill out. Unfortunately, not enough bodies stayed alive. Uh, but, yeah, Notorious looking pretty solid here. Yeah, it's interesting, the ebb and flow. You know, they start out... In the pits right now with Ryan Gray and the Notorious boys. Very, very intense coach. If they come out of the pocket, that's a benefit if we're set up the way we are, right? Don't think because the guy got to the corner that's bad. That's great for us. He went from a big stand-up bunker to the tiniest bunker on the fucking field. That's great for us, right? Trust that we got it, right? This is what Mark is like holding down. He takes a risk, we shoot him. We're set up. So he's probably a little frustrated that Marky got shot Force trying to make that, that move, yeah. forcing it out a little too early with a ton of time left. Body dropping here early for the ML Kings from the Snake side. Ironman advantage five on four as Kyle goes into Dorito two. So let's see what the Ironman do with this slightly high body situation. They've made it out wide on the D side and they still have the ML Kings trapped in the pocket with just four bodies alive. So th this is when the this is the point the Ironman need to win. They're down by one. They still have a lot of time to work with. Hopefully they're not going to be forcing moves. Dorito three, Maddie. 
for the Ironman. Yeah, Kyle with a nice move into D3. I think that's Kyle. That might not be Kyle. I think it's Kyle. Ironman get out now from back center into the snake insert bunker. Great fill air. No one looking snake side for, for uh, ML Kings. Kind of a questionable look here. Ironman could be flying down the snake side right now. Peterson, the only one. Oh, Landry Logistics is now switching. He's looking snake side. But before that, ML Kings had four bodies looking D side. Ironman had a great opportunity there to go forward, get into that snake. Oh, and see, this is the Ironman's problem. They have a five on five. They have five a ton of time to work with. And I'm sorry, uh, five on four. Yeah, I knew. A ton of time to work with. And then they lose a needless gunfight right. out of a really big bunker. Not even their attacker, right? The guy behind the, the two on the support roll over there. Ironman first into the snake with Hughes, Maddie. Yeah. Hughes going straight forward. ML King's dropping another body. Kyle DeVere taking the walk from the back center. ML King's down to just two bodies left to arrive, Maddie. The two center towers and the Dorito one as Hughes crawls all the way onto ML King's side of the field. I love this. He's going to get the first kill here in the back. He's going to get the first Woo! one. Chicken wings. Yeah. He's uh, Navarro yeah. gets a little two pack here. And again, there's $500 at stake in the prelims, courtesy of Pate Smith Law for best individual performance in a point. That one's not quite on the list, because uh, at this point, it's Sam Silberg's money to win with that one on four he pulled off yesterday. I don't know if we're going to see a better one in, in the prelims, but there's $5,000 at stake for the best individual Cha -ching. performance on Sunday. That's what I'm saving my best performance for. <laughs> now, how much do we, like, how much do the best performing commentators get bonus at, at the... We don't get is any Is it bonus. 10 million? Five, it's 5 million. Rich, everyone, no. We just, uh, just you, get a, you get a free cup of coffee. I'll take it. I'll take it. Suckers could have had me for free. Ha! Got a cup of coffee. And when I mean free, I mean, like, I'm going to need you to give me that $2. I'll buy it, and obviously, then I'll yeah. Venmo you the money yeah, later. Yeah, no, of course. Of course. <clears throat> I'll just put it on your account. <laughs> yeah, put it on my tab. So getting a replay here of Clay Hughes crawling up. Stays low, doesn't hit any of those bunkers. That's crucial. You don't want to telegraph your position. And then just, this is why we call him free kills. Navarro has no idea he's there. And then ML King's not able to react in time. So Clay Hughes chalking up a couple to finish off that point. And, you know, this whole season, Clay Hughes has kind of proven to be the most uh, effective attacker. Consistent, right? Yeah, most consistent. I mean, they got, you know, Kyle's good on the D side, and, and Tree Garthens had some amazing points over here on the snake side as, as well. But yeah, he does get a little more penalties than Clay. Breakout for both teams. Looks like five live, both in the exact same positions, Maddie. We call that mirrored up positions. Austin Torres is the first to release their second player out of back center. Goes right to the center 50 wing. Joe Barrett releases and goes Ooh. to the Landry Logistics Bunker as Marky Franz takes the early walk. That's a big bite here for Notorious. They're all the way on to Infamous' side of the field here in this tie ball game with just four bodies live out there currently for Notorious with Marky Franz's early death. Yeah, and I love it. They reposition Archie Barnes Jr., but they need to reposition him one more time so he can protect the, his player that's on Infamous' side of the field. Otherwise, Joe Barrett's just going to go get him. Ryan Hall there getting eliminated. Trading out with that center player. So four, oh, three on three as Cali takes the bounce in the Cali. So three on three, Matty. Yep. Joe Barrett not getting out from back center to, this, to the uh, can. Oh, and getting shot in that can as well, Matty. Yeah, this is looking good for Notorious again. Another good point, yeah. Three on two advantage as ABJ is looking to release from that center brick. Yeah, that side brick, but now Infamous into Dorito 2, Matt. I just love seeing, uh, there's a lot of game to be played here, and they a are lot playing of Infamous, game. but I just love seeing teams make you know, some changes and in the middle of a tournament look a lot better. And execute, First beat up on Notorious. Do, right? Notorious did not look good against the team from Poland. And, uh, you know, who's, who's a good team. I mean, they did really well. Yeah. Uh, taking third overall in the European series in the NXL. Uh, but they did not look good against First. And then they, they beat the Hurricanes in the worst game we've seen the Hurricanes played. And then now they're looking pretty. They're hanging with, the, with Infamous so far yep. with 632 to go. But can they close? I'd like to see Harris Hussein get out of this bunker in the back center and contribute. Oh, there he goes. That's the way he contributes. Catches a penalty there. That point goes from a three on two to a oh one on zero. God. Did Harris get another? Did he really he get did. another penalty? Yeah, another penalty out of the oh, back center Jesus there. Christ. Well, that's horrible because uh, there was a one on three in favor of yeah. Notorious. Yeah. The one goes and trades out with Nate, yeah. knowing he should have two bodies left alive in I, the backfield. I was just saying it's perfect timing for Harris to swing down. I know the you were being you were being sarcastic, but it was the perfect time for Harris to swing down this. Side I thought of the field. you were just being sarcastic. No, no. For anybody in the back center, <laughs> that's the time to get out and swing down this side of the field. But it's hard when you're shot and you know, continue to play on. Well, yeah, and that's, again, I, if we could throw our camera to the pits right now, we're probably going to get a really mad Ryan Gray yelling at uh, Harris Hussein. Well, I mean, is it, so here's, is it Harris's fault or is it Ryan's fault? That Harris got a penalty? Yeah, that Harris is in oh, there. Was it a bounce shot? 
I'm trying to see. I think they both just got shot. Yeah, maybe it was no penalty. I just saw yeah. Harris get shot and both of them walk out, but maybe they just both got shot and there wasn't a penalty. So, God. Did Nate shoot him? I, he was, was there another he was body over I don't there? Know, he was clearly frustrated, but I don't know. No, that was definitely just a uh, two on three. I mean, I was watching the, the run through down there. And ABJ then, goes through the trades out with yeah. Nate. Yeah. And, and then play. I look over and see both of them walk off and he was singing, singing songs about penalties and stuff. I'm like, really? <laughs> Yeah, and frustrating. With Donaldson taking snake insert yeah. on the break. Again, those are the, you just can't throw those. If you're notorious playing infamous, you cannot throw those points away. That's inexcusable. You cannot be losing those points. Papa's getting points. shot. D-side, Matty. Four on five advantage here for the Ironmen. Donaldson is in snake, though. First time this morning so far. You've seen him. Going right onto the Ironman side of the field. I like his aggressiveness early on. He's going to catch. He's going to catch one, oh, two, yeah. three out of back center. Yeah, bomb blown up here. Donaldson doing some work. Still got one more to shoot. Going to get a little four pack here. Oh, no, gets eaten up by uh, Nick Slowiak. And they don't know he's dead, so Nick gets another one. And no. Ironman have Nick in the uh, 50 over there. Oh, uh, Ironman almost got back to that point. I mean, that was a tall order. Yeah, Nick, Nick shot too early. The guy was just walking down the snake all cocky, and Nick just shot a little too early, and he stayed alive. Navarro with a sixth sense there. So we just talked about this, right, Rich? How pressure is being put and emphasis is being put on that middle, but Donaldson sneaks in, Hughes sneaks in, and that's just the, the ebb and flow of strategy and tactics exactly. out here. And every time you you know, you know know that they're going to go snake and they go up the middle, you're not prepared for it, right? And so then you change your game plan to go up, to protect up the middle, and then they go snake on you. But you still have to be wary of that. Head checking the snake, you it's obviously hard when you're you know getting shot on. You have certain game plans and that need to be uh, implemented. But when you have a, a potent snake like this, you gotta at least try to, you know, have yeah. you need one gun on it. Yeah, and we talked about this at the, at the Texas event almost to death. But this is not a power snake. This is one of those snakes that every one to five points, someone's gonna sneak in there. You're not gonna know he's there. He's gonna crawl down the field, get three kills. And you're gonna be like, hey, when that guy get the snake? Whose yeah. job was that? You know, who missed their job basically because they got in the snake and we didn't know it. Now, if you, it's exactly what they're saying in the pit right now. Hey, we didn't see him. He got in there. He crawled around, and shot everybody. If you know he's in there, you can stay alive from him. If you assume it's hot at all times, you can stay alive from him. But if you play like it's not hot, it's tough. So Notorious now down by one, squandering an opportunity. And that last one gives a gift to Infamous. Yeah, Infamous is, and Notorious are doing the, the same exact breakout, but Notorious has a little bit more emphasis on leaving their primary bunkers, getting to their secondaries before Infamous does. Nate making the move to the uh, Dorito side tower. Austin Notorious moving up to the center wing, snake side. And they've got, Infamous has got Ryan Hall. Callie Rudolph over here, snake side. It's like Thomas Taylor in the back, or maybe Joe Barrett in the back there. Ron Nate is over in the uh, Drew side tower. Oh, ABJ gets into the snake too, Matty. This, he was really struggling with this yesterday. Let's see if he can use this to capitalize. Yeah, rising talent, and you know every team out here. If your snake player is hitting, if he's looking good and playing well, you're probably going to be playing pretty well. Yeah. If he's having problems, you're probably going to be struggling. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's and every team. It, and it's probably the one of the hardest positions to play on the field. Like a lot of pressure, a lot of the stuff you're doing on your own because you're the outside guy. You know, communication and visibility is limited. Yeah, hey, and you know, I know it's hard, but it still needs to get done. 100%. Yeah, it's every sport has successful. that. Successful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if your shortstop's making a lot of errors, probably not going to win baseball games. Uh, if your tailback's getting flattened, probably not going to win a lot of football games. Yeah. 430 left in this one. Some long points here. Better field position currently again for Notorious. So yeah. Notorious kind of pushing the issue against uh, Infamous, which, you know, Infamous maybe going into this one saying, and this is kind of what we saw about the Hurricanes, too. A lot of times when you're a really good team and you're playing a team you should beat on paper, the, the mandate is, hey, get out here and stay alive. Let's just, hey, if we're better than these guys, if we keep five bodies alive, but sometimes that can bite you because then you're not willing to take those moves. That's right. The, the, again, the team that on paper should be losing to is starting to run around the field a bit, and you are all of a sudden find yourselves in some inopportune moments. Well, and you can see by the, the posture here of Infamous, right? They look like they're a team that's up by five points, right? They're just playing super, super tight. At, Matt and I are sitting above the field, on the, almost on their side of the field, and we can only see slivers of each guy in the bunkers because they're all playing so tight. Yeah, And, and they're actually only up by one point. Yeah, but, it, but hey, if you play defense and you make your shots, that's great. It, it can definitely work yeah. out. And Infamous is playing, like Rich said, very tight. I mean, these guys are about as tucked into those spots as they possibly can. We, um, and we talked about this last night when we were after the game, like, hey, man, what do we think? And we think that the, you know, the games like yesterday were a little bit slow. 
but we think they're going to even slow down more today because of this position that Infamous is in. You can see that Dorito one, the two towers, the uh, snakes I can, maybe back center. You can really live there a long time unless they can come onto your side of the field and start to put pressure on you. And, and that's kind of the question, right? Is that if things do go to this from a strategy perspective, will... So they have five bodies live. Can they hold off Notorious? Notorious has really good positions. So we're going to get a little bit, another uh, another another taste of it right here uh, with Austin Notorious down by one, 255 to go. Not reckless attack moments yet, but can they push into these zones? Marky Franz now releasing from the Snakes I Can to the Landry Logistics Bunker. We talked about it yesterday. Marky's one of those young and up and coming pros, very creative when allowed to be so. Great gunfighter, good timing. Let's see what he looks to do with it here. Ryan Hall for Infamous is trying to basically keep ABJ from coming up inside the snake and shooting crossfield. He's got Cali behind him trying to shut down that D side. Great over the head shot there. We hear two minutes being called, two minutes. So there's uh, a little bit more than two minutes left. Austin and Troy is understanding that they're down by a point. Basically have two minutes to go win a point to try to tie this up and take it to overtime with Infamous here in the first match. Friday morning. It is Friday, right? Indeed. Perfect. Which would normally be day one for us. Yeah. Instead, and, it's day three. And I got here like on Thursday last <laughs> week, so it's like I'm super confused. It's a time warp, man. We're at a paintball <laughs> tournament. It's time totally, un warp. totally understandable. Marky Franz with a good insert well, out to the uh, snake side insert. Rich time still ticking off this clock. Yeah. Here. Minute and 40 left. So this, this could be the crucial. This, this, is, this is the crucial point. If Infamous wins this point, they're going to win this game. If Notorious wins this one, totally different story ABJ here. Oh, the walk for Notorious. Right, Mark so needs to get the, the snake and support him earlier instead of just sitting back there tough, playing defense. Tough death for ABJ. Dying out of that crucial 50 yeah. spot. Here comes Huber. Huber's going to get out wide. He's had some good points for Notorious. Going to try to move, uh, yeah, real get into this game. Those. Notorious has had these center spots for a little bit now. And yeah, this is the crucial moment. Got to start capitalizing on those spots, man. Notorious is going to launch. Here comes the big move, and he gets eaten up. Got to play off of that. Doesn't Rodriguez goes and plays off of his off his front take, uh, player's attacker. And Marky still has it on his snake. That would have been a great opportunity for Mark to go to the snake. Nate Schrader going through with the uh, reposition. Gets one out, gets him clean, stays alive. Now putting pressure on Marky Franz. And this is why you do closing drills. Yes. And Marky Franz getting slapped. A little disappointed Marky there on that point. He should have been in that snake going forward aggressively in st with 40 seconds left instead of sitting back down by a point just waiting to lose the point. Now, I'm not saying that Notorious doesn't do closing drills, but that was a relatively poorly executed I'm gonna say close. It. They don't do closing drills. When you're at home and you want to be better at paintball, what you do is you put five guys in their spots doing exactly what Infamous is doing. Ideally, your best five defensive guys. Yeah, best five defensive guys. And then you put everyone else at the 50s and they have 45 seconds to get through that cross. And then you do that 20 times. Oh, that is Kyle. Kyle screaming well, he is at his up. boys. Yeah, he is fired up. Yeah, so we're seeing the uh, replay here. Yeah, and it just, Notorious could not crack the code. They And, and it was tough. I mean, to be honest, yeah. that's a that's a tall ass. That's a, that's a, that's a big problem. You got an five infamous. Yeah, it's a real experienced line. Yeah, very, very veteran players. A lot of salt out there. All tucked in, basically, you know, hiding in a good way. <laughs> their guns up aggressively hiding and it's tough to break that cross and they just could not get it done it also didn't help that they didn't have abj alive uh to start spreading the guns yeah well and abg instead of sitting back at the 50 and gunfighting should have gone onto their side of the field and really applied that pressure marcus should have followed up and been in that 50 and the two of them should have worked together to get ryan out and then the two of them should have worked together to get Callie and joe baird out ml kings and snake too but ml kings taking a penalty maddie so only two ml kings left alive here Snake uh, insert and snake two. Now the snake 50. Big opportunity for the Ironman yeah. right now as they're in some decent spots. They do have a body walking off on that D side. That's exactly what the Ironman need. They need to understand what's going on here and get some offense going down that D side of the field. Oh, bad death there from Kyle Barry in that snake can. So ML Kings with back center. Snake side brick is still alive. I believe that's the only two players left alive. Even though the Ironmen get that penalty, they're still in a good position to win this point. They can capitalize. They've got two in the snake, but I don't see anyone on the D side for Ironman, Matt. It might just be a two on two here. Yeah, well, there's a lot more time left in this one. So even if the Ironman can't utilize this uh, advantage they have with two, these two bodies on the snake, 
He's still you know, 720 on the clock. That's a decent amount of time. Yeah, can you see who's second there in the snake? Because I feel like he needs to... Uh, Tree Garthen's in the snake. Okay. And then he's got a body back at the uh, either snake one or outside Wage. snake one insert, whichever you want to call it. Oh, Tree Garthen's going to get picked up. Did he trade out? Uh -oh. He didn't. Oh, and eyes to the sky in frustration as he gets shot. So good defensive moves here for ML Kings. He's holding the line. Yeah, two on one advantage now for the Kings. Ironman player in the snake, two outside wedge, trying to put some pressure. While well, he still had a, uh, a guy alive. Oh, ML Kings still have one over on the D side. I think that's Pappas over there. Just went from three to one to three to two. So a three on one advantage here for the Kings. That penalty really hurting the Ironman earlier in the match. Ironman should probably concede this point, Matt. It's a three on one here. They're down by a point, and time is getting very, very low. Well, yeah, margin is. Six minutes. Margin's. Uh going to be a big deal for them. Oh, Boyum trying to pick up Mingo as Mingo cracks past that 50-yard line to try to put the uh, angle on Boyum, and he does so. I like the way Boyum's been playing the second in the snake over here. He's consistently following up and getting in the snake. Yeah, so the Ironman are going to go be going down by two. Three to one will be the score. Six, 11 still on the clock. Let's listen into the piss real quick. And I know home and 100 for sure. But if I say bingo. It was, it was echo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Let's go, boys. Yeah, Tree Garth and angry on that one. He just he didn't trade. You know, he, he committed and he just missed his shot. Yeah. And uh, in that situation, though, in a two on two, down by a point, you're not really looking to trade, right? You're looking to get your guy clean and leave yourself in a two on. And he one. had a little bit of time with, to work with. Only on down by one. Yeah. With six thirty left on the clock, it's kind of a bonehead move there. Yeah, but you know you, it's World Cup, man. Well, but you look. I understand he wants to push forward, but yeah. you know when you if you know that count you, and you know that if if you trade it goes to a one on one. ABJ but you do, trying to go snake on the break. He had a couple I, more minutes to work with. Yeah. A couple bodies coming off, so Notorious tries to go uh, attacking up the field, and it cost him a little bit. Is they're going to be having two bodies walk off early? But they're down by two. Oh yeah, 16 seconds left. My bad. They had. They had. They had yeah. yeah. They, yeah staggered I was saying the same thing, and I was like, let me see the time. Well, oh, there, yeah. yeah, there was Makes seven sense. minutes on the other one. And I look back. I'm like, yeah. okay, never mind, guys. Yeah, I was like, you're doing so much better not saying ABJ, but it totally makes sense. Here comes the release down the center. Joe Barrett trying to get another point for that margin. Doesn't quite get it, but good acceleration there from Joe Barrett. Still got some wheels on him. Yeah, infamous two wins on the board right now for Infamous. Yeah, they look good. So again, they lost to Legion, but they beat up on Verse. So came into this one sitting at one and one with a plus five, at, right around plus five. Uh, and then now going to take a, what was it, a two point victory? Yeah, two-point win here. So, they're, Infamous is looking pretty good here in this uh, potential bracket of death. Hurricanes, Infamous, Legion, Notorious, and Versed. So what, two and one plus seven? That's pretty good. Yeah. That means they can they control their fate going into their last game, which they will play all, that's tomorrow. That's all you can ask for, right? There's nothing worse than hoping that some other team does good or does bad. Yeah, it's interesting, too, with the momentum, you know, getting mentally up for these games, because at World Cup, it's three days of prelim. So one day you're going to play two, and then the other days you'll play one. And it, it's just, uh, it's a Iron little bit different than we normally roll. Ironman dropped their first attack of snake side as Donaldson goes from snake insert to snake one. Five, a lot, five on three advantage here for the ML Kings. This is not looking for the Ironman, Matty. Yeah, they still have time to work with, though, so even if they lose this point, they need to lose it fast. Yeah, five on two. That now would be a good time to concede. Because, again, margin only matters if you're winning, winning enough games. Yeah, you need at least two, especially with the way the cut works here at Cup. 20 teams in four different divisions, top two move on, so definitely need at least two wins to have a chance and a positive point spread. I'm going to concede the point. Good call. ML Kings feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Yeah, looking pretty good. Sorry, Matt, they're married. <laughs> yeah, Kings looking good, man. I think they, they do a good job as a young team of getting up for the events. You know, it's kind of a home team event for them. A bunch of Florida boys. Been working really hard. I don't know if you follow the pages or not, but I do. out there working almost every weekend. Yeah, Shout out Paxton hey, there, hey, legendary now. paintball player, coach, man. Mikey, get ready next round. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
The only thing that might change from that line is we'll pull Keith out and put you in. Thank about legend Mike Paxson helping uh, Shane Pestana coach his former squad. Away. Yeah, they just still got work to do, man. There's a lot of talent on that team. It's a yeah. team to get it together. Get down there just to make sure we got we got a five. I got to see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the only thing different we're gonna the only thing the only thing different is we can do this line here with if we want to change something up and we put Mike in here. Yeah, the Ironman sitting at 19th place overall. Yeah, they did get a win yesterday. So if the Saints continue to lose, and the Ironman just with that one win, that could save the season. I can't remember. There, there's a the, the the, they told me the breakdown. The I think it was to Sunday. yeah. I think it's Saints have to make Sunday, and the I can't remember exactly the breakdown for the relegation conversation, but uh, but it but it is scary for the Ironman man, the longest running pro and, team in and existence. And for us Ironman fans, yeah. Well, ML Kings, like Rich was saying, doing a lot of work in between these events. Ironman gets his Snake 1 and Drito 1, Matty. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. Donaldson also releasing into Snake 1. Five on five here, Matty. This is the point right now. Ironman need to start a run. They have five minutes and 15 seconds to work with. They can, cannot squander any opportunities. Oh, and they do get a kill, so it's a good shot on Peterson. And Kyle gets into Drito 2 and also shoots across, bounces Donaldson. Oh, no, kills Donaldson. Great shot there from Kyle Nicola, all the way from Drito 2, crossing to Snake 1. They do lose Al Fernandez out of back center to do the Ironman. Yeah, it's looking good for the Ironman right now. Yeah, Zermo Kings are losing bodies. Kyle Berry taking the walk. Navarro's going to get peeled off. They still uh, have Mingo out in D2. Yep. And he's just going to have to take the pain because they're not going to concede this point. Yeah. They're just trying to burn off as much clock as possible. Well, Papas can pull off a 4 on 1, so don't, don't think this point is over, okay? Hughes going down. Looks like the point is, in fact, over. So a two-point game with, you know, four minutes left. That's very, that's that's possible, but they got to keep it up. Again, at this point, the Ironman need to run clean. No penalty, excuse me, no penalties, no mistakes, and they need offense. Yeah, and the Kings just need to tighten it up, right? They're playing loose again. They, that was definitely loose when Donaldson got shot a couple of the guys. They understand, if they understand they've got a two-point lead, Time's running down, they just need to tighten it up. We say it all the time, because it's true. If you're going to play defense, you got to make your shots. Now, they did take some ground outside wide with Mingo, but everyone inside well, died. And, and Donaldson got to the snake, too, but they, he was just died. sloppy out there. Yeah, yeah. he was look, literally standing up, kind of almost looking over the top when he got shot. I guess I should also add, uh, if you're going to play defense, you have to stay alive and make your shots. Boom. <laughs> Prioritize staying alive and then making then, your shots. Yeah. Those are the two qualities we're looking for here in a defensive player. So there's some comms in there. Listen, yeah, we're, well, we're complicating things. So I was trying to make no, it simple as possible. We're building a package for you guys. Yeah, so uh, and also coming website. up after this one, Hurricanes, Legion, Impact, and NRG. That's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, I'm interested to see what the Hurricanes are going to look like against Red Legion, because that is a Legion is looking a lot better here towards the end of the season, and the Hurricanes did look pretty terrible yesterday. I'm really interested in watching NRG, because I think uh, Geiger and Bowen is so far the best yeah. snake side package that I've seen. Yeah, Bowen first to go, Geiger behind him, yeah. staying close to each other, those, playing aggressive. To me, those two guys are playing the snake and producing more over here than all the other guys. So I'm interested to see if they continue to do it or if everyone's kind of figured out what their code is over there that can break it and stop them. Time will tell, my friends. Iron Man and ML Kings coming back out. We're in true X ball here. Yeah, so that means there'll be two minutes between the points. More opportunity to listen to Matthew's buttery voice. Looks like Donaldson's getting the spin again. Peterson, Navarro, obviously Kyle Barry. Obviously Kyle Barry. Do you think Kyle Barry wasn't going in? Yeah, well, Kyle's been real good this year. I mean, he's he's really emerging as a top level guy. So you got to kind of spin him every single point. Uh, but in, and congratulations, Kyle just had a, his uh, wife just had their first kid. Oh, congratulations! So and uh, Kyle was on Team USA. That's cool yeah. too, right? And he was, I think, a couple days after the birth, at the field grinding drills. Yeah. So otherwise, he'd be home home taking care of that kid. Nobody wants to do that. Oh, Nick Slovak getting shot going to the snake side cam, Eddie. Nicola does. Uh, did he get Nic shot going there, or did he get shot while he was in there? I couldn't tell. Sorry, I just turned around. Well, where the, the where the hit is, it looked like he got shot going in. In his leg, right? Yeah, yeah I thought. Which, and that's just a great, great Dude. off the break shot. One out, one out of like every ten shots or so, you make that shot. 
ML King getting outside to the Doritos now, so the Drito one. But Rich, ML Kings lose a body too, four yeah, on four. four, on four. Yeah, Donaldson yeah. not able to get outside yet. Yeah, Ironman, uh, pretty good field position on that D side with D1 and D3 very quickly, so. Yeah. Kyle being in D3 there, he can shut down that snake side. Three on four advantage for the Ironman now, Matt. Yeah, another body just got peeled off, so. Let's see if the Ironman can take advantage of this. D side Kyle doing. Going into that 50 on the D side, sorry. Yeah, D side doing some work here for the Ironman. ML Kings also have here on your screen, we're looking over the shoulder, they're out in D1, but you can see how those bunkers are tiered in or out, depending on how you're looking at it. But the farther you get up the field, D3 is a great position. D1, not bad, there's some shots from there, but it's just, you can't really protect down the line as much. You can see our eye in the sky here on the Telestrator. Good read and react from Hughes, going all the way from the 50 back center to the 50, I mean, to the 50 snake, but he lets Kyle Berry fill out to the snake corner, that was terrible, and get shot. Uh, Hughes turning a, a beautiful move into uh, a little sloppy death there. 2-1-2. Two, two. see if the rest of the Ironman can step uh, up here. ML Kings just brought this game back, Matty. Well, they 4 on 2 to, to winning this point with just one player. No, I think it's a 1-on-1. One one. Yeah, so it's oh, uh, okay. Mike McGowan. Oh, uh, but McGowan gets eaten up real quick and going to sprint in to hit that buzzer. He should just pause, let him burn the time. If they're going to let you burn the... What are you doing? Matt, don't take it personally. I don't think he was trying to be offensive to you. Well... <laughs> But that time, well, I have to. Maybe they want. Maybe they'd want to try to run the score up. Um, I don't but, think so. But no, but I don't think they need to because the ML Kings they have a mercy rule. So they went one on one yesterday, but they had a mercy rule win over Joy Division. So the spread with now we're getting two wins, one more to go tomorrow. I mean, yeah, I'd, I would have waited. Yeah, you, know? might as I mean, well. they, you have a pretty good spread already. Save you obviously those, get that that point. Save but. those legs. Yeah, that was just poor, uh, poor execution there. Ironman should have won that point. So yesterday, uh, in, in a pretty similar situation to this, it, it was a little bit closer. It was a two-point spread, not a three-point spread. Uh, but we saw Uprising with uh, scoring two points in 40 seconds, kind of showing the rest of the league yeah, what yeah. can be done on a, on a uh, in that game against the Lucky 15s. Now, they did lose in overtime. They made it really fun to watch. That's all that we care about. Yeah, so maybe the Ironmen were able to see that and saw... I mean, now it was just straight reckless attack and good execution from uh, Uprising, m punching up the gut, much up that center of the field mostly. So the Ironmen are going to have to go to the well here with some wheels and go to reckless attack moments. They are running out of time. Yeah. And it's tough when you put yourself in that position because the other team knows that you've got to go to the reckless abandoned option. And so they can prepare for it. They can either sit inside and look, go outside in or inside out. So 30 seconds to go before the start of what could be the last point, but probably not because point the Ironmen are going to run into these guns. Yeah. Point but they just, they got it. It's also tough with spread because if they come, go win their next game, they'll be two and two. But this is just why it's so important to never get blown out. Yeah. If you take a mercy rule up. loss, you have to essentially get a mercy rule loss or mercy rule win just to get the point spread even. Uh, if you get those two wins on the board, because with the way that this just tuning in, 20 teams in four divisions, top two go on, and you need to be two and two with probably like a plus two or three to have any chance of being one of those teams. It's like five alive for both teams, Maddie. Oh, Ironman taking the walk. Two players on the Ironman Dorito side, both eliminated. Only three Ironman left here. Snakes I can, back center, Landry Logistics Tower. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Ironman. Losing those two on the D side. They have three bodies with their in that arrowhead position in the middle of the field in the pocket. Yeah. Five on three. Interesting that Hughes is kind of playing defensively there. Five on two. Five on two. Four, yeah, five on two. Hughes now going to the uh, center wing, looking snake side. Hughes now the only player on live on the Ironman, and he's in the center of the field. Once ML Kings find out where he is, the four ML Kings remaining will probably put a lot of pressure on him. Oh, he does get one elimination, though. Goes from a four-on-one to a oh, five-on-one to a four-on-one. And ML Kings kind of easily winning that point. And again, um, my friend Matt earlier was talking about doing drills and closeout drills, that kind of stuff. And this is another one of those drills that you want to do. You know, you want to put up 15, 20, 30 seconds on the clock. You want to have two guys sprinting out to the corners to kind of draw the guns. You want two guys back center shooting and releasing, and then a third guy kind of trailing those two guys. And you want to do it over and over again so that when you have to do it in a big game at World Cup, it's familiar, it's comfortable. You guys know where you're starting off. You know where your lanes are. You know the adjustments that you need to make. What you don't want to do is be in this position, not do, have done those drills, and have to go out and kind of figure it all out. 
at the biggest tournament in the world with all the pressure in the world on you. Good shot of the Ironman pits. Let's listen up and hear what they have to say. We can run wide. I've been fucking wide all goddamn game. You're the only side that can go fuck, dude. Kyle is getting really frustrated. Seems like he's getting a little frustrated. Well, that's the look of a man that's losing a game at the World Cup. It is. And a team that's sitting in 19th place with a decent amount of talent on the squad. Yeah, man. If you think this is easy, you are mistaken. This is the hardest thing to do in the world. To try to get 10 guys together on the same page, get them focused, get them peaking at World Cup. I like the intensity. I like Kyle's yeah, passion. I like yeah. his passion, man. Uh, that's, the, that, that's a guy that wants to win, man. He's done a lot of work for that team this year on that D side. He's been yeah. one of their go-to attackers. Yeah, but I've been a fan for a while. I, I coached him a little bit on the Bay State Bandits back in the day, and even back then, he had a lot of potential. He was kind of him and Brett were standouts on that squad. And he also might be a little frustrated. I don't. Make, I'm, I'm wondering. So they're, they're put. So McGowan's out there. He will be the attacker on the D side, and. They've been going with Kyle a little bit more than McGowan. McGowan's got some spins, and McGowan's good, man. You know, McGowan's been here for a long time. And, uh, I mean, I've seen him throw up four or five packs out there, different uh, points over the years, different teams. Let's see how he does at this point. But Kyle's probably also a little frustrated that he's not, he's not the one to be out there on the attack. Yeah, Mike does get out to D1. I think snake. Boyum just got shot. Yeah. He has the look of a guy that just got shot. Yeah. Boyum got shot. Snake got shot. So oh, Ironman he, down to he three. Didn't shoot his gun, so no penalty. Ironman oh. down to one. God, they're just getting peeled off left and right here. Looking really good for the ML Kings, though. This is a good look for the ML Kings. So the ML Kings have it's been a frustrating year for them because they were getting really good. They lost some bodies. Had to do a little roster roulette. Um, you know, losing uh, Betancourt, losing Connor Kelly, and then this year only one Sunday appearance. They're they're currently ninth overall, so middle of the pack, but. And they've just been right on the precipice of making Sunday at all those other events. Uh, two 11th places and a 12th. So if you take 11th or 12th, typically you're going two and two with a slightly negative point spread, which has then put you in that position where you're barely missing Sunday. Yeah, and the Kings have a lot of things going their way. They have Charlie, who's a great leader, a great financer, great game planner. They're all young and athletic, and they've been together now. This is kind of their second season. So they're really starting, like they've got all these components and they're starting to, if you can keep those guys together long enough, you can have a, a strong team. I got a great Charlie Given story. So uh, he's an engineer, and um, so this team originally started in the Czech Republic. I remember. Because he had to move there. So you've probably heard this story before, but people out there maybe haven't. Yeah. So he moved to the Czech Republic and was working for an American company out there uh, kind of during the collapse of communism. And so the dollar went a long way. And so he was out in this little village uh, meeting up with some people that he was working with and they went to this little bar, uh, only bar in the village. And so he goes to the bar to buy some drinks for his, his you know, new buddies. And, uh, and he goes up and, and orders the round of beers and gives them a $100 bill. And they look at him like he pulled out a five pound gold brick. <laughs> or like a $100. Do you know how many beers that will We're buy We're not selling the right bar. Now? We're not selling the bar. And he asked him, he's like, well, how many beers would it buy? And, he, and the bartender's like, that $100 would pay for this entire village to drink all week long. Well, let's free. go. So he just put the dollar, dollar <laughs> bill on the bar, slid awesome. it across. He's like, well, guess Charlie. what? Then the village is drinking for free for the rest of the week. Good job, Charlie. I mean, you can come to Modesto. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, little uh, punt there. Wow, got some distance on it there, Carter. Yeah, I'd give up playing paintball and start playing football yeah. immediately. I mean, he doesn't quite have the size. Oh, he loves kicking the pods. Oh, let's see, do another one. Oh, yeah, he's getting some distance out of that. He hates pods. He hates pods. Maybe he, maybe Donaldson was a former punter in yeah. high school. He's got the hips of a punter. He's pretty fast. I mean, you don't have to be that big to be, play the punter. You remember uh, Kirk, my buddy Kirk? Yeah, twice the size of Donaldson. Yeah, punter. He was a punter? So, so grew looks up playing, like a running back. Yeah, so looks like a fullback. Yeah, so grew up playing soccer. And then, you know, as like a 250, 160 pound athletic gentleman, he's like, you know, I can kick a ball real far. And they're like, well, you can put this helmet on. Let's go. Yeah, Kirk looks like he can bench press a car. So jumping into this one here. Oh, Donaldson seconds. with the heavy hopper hit. That was close. Yeah, he's it's got the penalty. Again, this is similar situation. Ironman do have a couple bodies alive to try to get the spread a little bit more respectable. 42 seconds left is uh, Nick Sobiak sharking down the field. He's going to come through. Nick's going to run through. He's going to get one. Nick's going to get two. Nice job, Nick. He does get shot, though, but it's not going to matter because Al Fernandez is still alive. Al Fernandez is going to try to beat ML Kings into the buzzer. He does. He gets it. That was really close because the ML Kings had blown open that D side. So who is it going to be? Is it going to be 
Oh. There's thumbs up from both sides, so both players were clean, but who got there first? I think Al maybe I, beat I him by about a half a step. Al, but I guess, I'm guessing they'll go to the camera. Yeah, it was super close. Neither neither guy knew that uh, that their opponents were also running for the buzzer at the yeah. same time. Neither, neither looked to their left. Jordan, Al, Keith, Kyle. Are we running on this one? We are running on this one. Hey, you got to run. There, and then I'm you're, going you're, up. Yes, I love it. Out, and then I'm going to go up. Can you go one more, baby? Can you go one more? Yeah. Hey, clean, clean your head up. 30 seconds. Jordan. Yeah, just hey, hey, throw those fucking things away. Throw that away. Yeah, yeah, same. Let's go, hey, Pax. It, it worked. Yeah, why not run it again? You don't, have, you don't have much time. You have four-point spread. So the answer is going to, are we running? The answer is going to be, yeah. It's either that or we're just going to let the spread be what it is. I think that was Jordan's question, you know. I mean, that is a legitimate question. Are we are we playing spread game right now, or are we trying to score this point? Yeah. You want me staying alive, or you want me killing? ML Kings taking the field there. ML Kings sitting pretty right now. Yeah, I'm happy that about that to go two and uh, one. And it's nice to see that program. You know, they lost some players at the beginning of last season, or the end of last season. Team kind of took a dive, look a little sketch. Now they're right, kind of, kind of coming back right in the ship and going back in the up direction. I like to see that. Well, it's a team we've. It's been fun to watch the ML Kings for the past couple seasons. For sure, especially a couple seasons ago, it was yeah. real fun to watch. Yeah, a couple seasons ago, they were the fastest team in the league, and they had made a bunch of Sundays in a row. Yeah, they looked like dynasty 35 years ago. So here's the here's the replay. Who's gonna get there first? Yeah. So Al, that is super close. I mean, yeah, it looks like Al beat him by about a quarter of a step. Ty goes to the Al. Well, he had his hand pressing down just as the ML Kings was starting yeah. his descent of his palm. So I'm going to try to go through the middle, get caught. Oh, Leave God, getting him. obliterated. But, hey, you got to draw the guns. Yeah. Al taking the walk. Clay trying to get outside, getting caught. I'm in down to, no, I think it's Boehm maybe still alive in the center there. Only two ML Kings players left alive. Bless you. William goes, gets one, does not get the other. Navarro still alive for ML Kings. So that is going to do it here. Final score looking to be seven to three in favor of the ML Kings. So again, two and one now in a real big uh, positive points bet for them. So, I mean, even if they lose their next game, they're not going to want to do that. They'd love to go three and one and easily make it into Sunday, but they have such a big positive point spread with that because they kept that, in that loss against Energy Elite so close, that one point loss. They're looking, yeah, looking pretty. So coming up next, though, very interesting match. Hurricanes did not look good yesterday in their loss against Notorious, and they're playing Red Legion. So, and then also Impact, right? Impact and Energy Elite here taking the field on center court. 2023 NXL World Cup. I'm Matty Marshall here with Rich Telford on Go Sports. We'll be right back.